my Twitter. Gotta start remembering to do that. But uh, hello and welcome back everyone to Let's Play Danganronpa 3 V3 Killing Harmony. Oh my goodness, that was hard to say and type at the same time. Um, so last time we started the Chapter 5 Deadly Life. We have discovered a body, but we don't even know who it is. All signs point. Spoilers, by the way. That's your spoiler warning. You have a few minutes. You have a couple minutes until I can, um, put put out this message. Okay, now let's close Twitch so it doesn't destroy my frame rate. <laughs> because yeah, I've dropped a few frames in there already. Lovely. Um, but yeah. So, that was the spoiler warning. Okay. So, we think it's Kaito. However, I, I've i been thinking about it quite a lot. But in the end, I actually am not entirely sure. Part of me thinks we could be pulling a Danganronpa 1. And it is just, like, one of the already dead bodies. And it was just smashed in this thing. Because if you remember... This, uh, hydraulic press. The hydraulic press is down and there's blood in the area. The hydraulic press is cover controlled by these buttons. If we use this to lift up the hydraulic press, we should be able to check the body. I don't really want to do that, though. These controls move the hydraulic press. It can go up, down, and stop. I should be able to use the up button to raise the press and check the body. I don't want to see your crushed body no matter who it is, but I have to do it. I have to know. I made up my mind, took a breath, and pressed the button. Huh? It's not moving? I pressed the button a few more times, but the press still wouldn't move. Strange, it moved when I pressed it last time. After looking around the press, I found... The power cord is cut! I see, there's no power, so the hydraulic press won't move. This can't be a coincidence. The power cord was cut on purpose. This must be the work of the culprit. And in that case, we won't be able to check the body. I'm honestly a little relieved, but I shouldn't say that out loud. I should take another look at the controls. There must be some clue here. In addition to the control buttons, there's an emergency stop button. The press would have been stopped instantly if you used this. Well, if the culprit were planning this murder, they'd have no use for it. What concerns me more is the safety function. That's right, this hydraulic press should have had a safety function. If the infrared sensor detects a living thing, the press stops automatically. Well, it didn't stop when Kibo tried before. If the sensor detected a person, the safety should have stopped the press automatically. Stop automatically, huh? I I don't want to talk to you right now, okay? The way you are now, you might start accusing people because you can't believe Kaito's death. N no, that's not... I don't want to hear your excuses or anything else. Just don't talk to me. If you keep bugging me, I'll give you afro hair with my magic. She's awfully stubborn. Is she that suspicious of everything now? Or is there a reason she doesn't want to talk to anyone? Hmm. Well, there's a washing machine back here. This looks like a car wash. I imagine it's for cleaning the exosols. It doesn't look like it's been used in a while and I don't see any clues. <laughs> so the washing machine in the end never actually came into play. There are traces of blood on the floor though. What is this, a blood stain? There's a faint trail of blood leading to the press, a swipe pattern as if dragged. Looks as if it's coming from the bathroom. The blood stain suggests something was dragged from the bathroom to the press. The Monokuma file this time barely has any information in it at all. Yeah, it won't be of much use to us. It's so useless, he probably shouldn't have even gone out of his way to give it to us. I agree, Tsumugi. Oh, well. It's fine, it's fine! A mascot's appearance at a murder scene brings a sense of relief and peace of mind. Oh, unless it's me, I guess. Oh, he popped out! What an attention hog. Of course I want attention! I'm the mascot for crying out loud! 
And yet, I've appeared fewer times than that plain Jane Sumagi over there. It'd be false advertising if I didn't appear as often as I can, you know? Advertising? What What advertising? Ignore it. Let's just focus on the investigation. Y yeah. His next is all right in the middle of the hangar. The hatch is open as well. The cockpit is exposed. So this is how, s how it looks on the inside, huh? It's small, but big enough for one person. Huh? The hatch is open? How strange, only the monocubs can turn off the electronic lock and open the hatch. Only the monocubs can open the hatch? Normally, the monocubs are the only ones who can pilot the exosols. Normally being the keyword. Because of that electro hammer thingy, the electronic lock is all screwed up. Have you mentioned this to anyone else? Nope! No one's asked me about it either. And even if I had been asked, it wouldn't have been it would have been irrelevant information to you anyway. An electronic lock on the hatch that only the monocubs can disable. Which must be why the monocubs can control the exosols. But if you could disable the lock, you could control the exosol. Hmm. It's a panel that controls the alarm system and electric barrier. I don't see any reason to turn them back on, though. The red X is all completely still. Shoichi, it's dangerous there. If you go near that thing, you might get torn apart. No, it shouldn't move anymore. Not without the Monocubes or Kokichi. Yeah, it's just a pile of scrap, then. Jeez, don't scare me like that. Maybe I should just tear this hunk of junk apart with my magic. Oh, but... I suppose that if Kokichi was alive, he could move it at any time by remote. Eh, why didn't you say so sooner? That is, if Kokichi is alive. But that remote control Kokichi has for the Exosols. What is it exactly? Does he have that because he's the mastermind? Well, only one thing to check, so let's head to the bathroom. This is the bathroom, now that I think about it. This is the place where Kaito was imprisoned. Kaito might have left some kind of clue here. Uh, no, he didn't leave anything. He might not be dead. Anyway, I should investigate inside. Maybe he is in denial. Well, there's not much to look at. We have traces of blood. A blood stain. A puddle of blood in the center of the room. I don't, I don't know if I call that a puddle. More like a splotch. And a swipe pattern from there to the door. What could this mean? There are arrows on the floor of the bathroom. Three in total and blood on all of them. What is this? What happened here? A crossbow? This is... One of the crossbows from Maki's lab. Hmm. Why is this here? That's interesting. There's a small bottle in the corner of the room, and it's empty. I feel like I've seen this before. The label has blood all over it, I can't read it completely. But I can see the word poison. And if it is poison, the bottle must be taken from my lab. I don't know who brought this here, but it definitely has something to do with the case. Poison-tipped arrows? What would that do, though? There it is. A small window for ventilation. This is... the same window from before. It's a small window, and it doesn't open all the way. No one would be able to fit through here. Hmm, I suppose if someone could fit, though, Kaito would have escaped by now. Perhaps it's too small for a person, but an object could fit through. Hmm. What kind of object are we talking about, though? The poison? The crossbow? The monitor? No. <laughs> uh, hmm. There's still something I, I should investigate here. Uh, the, the toilet? You, you can't even look at the toilet. 
I know it's not the monitor because it's just a monitor. Um. Is it the traces? No. Because that's just the puddle. The, the so-called puddle. Oh, a black case. Ah, this case. Oh, what's in that black case over there? What's in it? Some kind of weapon? This is the case from before, right? Hmm. I'm starting to get a clearer picture of what might have happened here. Alright, I finished investigating the bathroom. There are more clues than I thought there'd be. And one is particularly concerning. Why is the crossbow from Maki's lab in here? And the three bloody arrows. Those arrows are definitely for the crossbow, but why are all three bloodied? And that bottle of poison, what could that have been used for? There's still so much I don't know. This case looks like it's going to be tricky. Actually, it seems... It feels like this is going to be the simplest one yet. <clears throat> but I could be... Being led to believe something... There's an exit all right in the middle of the hangar. Wait, hold on. It's right behind Sumugi. Oh, okay. I... I... Was that where it was before? Okay, I guess I wasn't paying attention. Um, no, it's... This was definitely up here, right? I'm not crazy. There isn't enough info in the Monokuma file, or the time of death, or the person, or anything! Um, I guess we should check the press again? power cord has been cut, the press won't move. In that case, we won't be able to check the body. Okay. Um. Oh wait, there was a painting station, right? It looks like a machine used to paint exosols. It smells kind of like paint thinner. Looks the same as before, so it's probably not related. Okay. I don't want to talk to you. If you keep bugging me, I'll use my explosion magic. Explosion! <laughs> um... We checked the washing machine. He said there's nothing to do with it. Do we check this thing again? Is it exits all red? I don't... I don't know what it wants. Uh... Does it have something to do with where the exosols used to be? No. Um... Oh, the cut power cord. Duh. No? No. Um... I keep checking everything in the room, but nothing's happening. Uh, I have, I have no idea what it wants. 
Uh, I guess we could check the washing machine again. Okay, it's not the washing machine. Uh, 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 man, this observe thing. Definitely uh, MVP. <laughs> um, I don't see anything else to observe, though. No matter where you check on Exodus All Green, it just says Exodus All Green. Unless you put it in a weird place and then you can observe Exodus All Red through it. Um... It's not the toilet, because... We weren't able to leave the bathroom until we saw the black case. So it's not this. At least it has one of the coolest searching songs ever. I I'm still debating if I liked um the uh the game before um the final chapter of Danganronpa two. Looking for anything that sticks out as being a different thing. Maybe if I start smacking some stuff. No, nothing's happening. Um, what am I missing? I have no idea. Help! <laughs> um, uh, maybe I'll use my lifeline because <laughs> I know uh, Jericho and Harley have played this before. I've talked with everyone multiple times. I don't get it. <laughs> um. Oh, wait, hold on. There's a sleeve sticking out of the press, and it's definitely Kaito's coat sleeve. In that case, the victim must be... N no, that hasn't been determined yet. I need to investigate further. Looks like the left sleeve sticking out of the hydraulic press. Hmm. Only the sleeve is sticking out. No part of the victim's body is visible. Were they crushed completely? So only the sleeve remains? Uh, that sounds weird to me. Oh, it doesn't show how he wears the dang coat normally. <clears throat> hmm, what's this? The sleeve has a single small hole in it. A hole in the sleeve. Could, what could this be? What could this be? I suppose that's about all the information I can deduce from the hydraulic press. I can't check the body, so I don't have many clues to work with. I'll have to find more clues elsewhere. It's about all I can investigate here in the hangar. There's still questions. The truth is still far out of reach. I still can't deduce who the victim is, let alone the culprit. I need more clues. I should investigate other areas. I should start with the areas around the hangar. And then we'll have to visit ours and Maki's uh, ultimate labs at some point. The alarm system is off. It must still be affected by the electro bomb. I should investigate this place thoroughly. There must be some clues around here. Oh, okay. We're in free movement. Um, the shutter. The hangar shutter. There's a security alarm here. You have to use the alarm remote to disable it to get near the shutter. If you come near the shutter without the remote, a loud alarm would go off around the entire academy. We had to use an electro bomb to disable the sensor and the alarm. 
That's how we got into the hangar. Nee. <laughs> it's not exactly a bomb though, even if it's called an electro bomb. It jams electronic signals by scattering particles that interfere with electromagnetic waves. For two hours, any and all electronic devices within 50 yards will be completely disabled. It's perfect for any secret activities, too, since it doesn't leave any debris behind. This invention is extraordinary, uh, but I only have three of them. So I need to use them carefully. You guys will have to settle for the electro hammers. Now that I think about it, there were three electro bombs total. One was stolen by Maki, but what of the other two? Can't look at the alarm itself. Hey, what's up, Kibo? Phew, I think I'm starting to feel a little better now. I'm sorry to worry you, Shuichi. Okay. Ah, I was a bit worried. I'm glad you're feeling better. There was something I needed to ask Kibo. Hey, Kibo, before we went into the hangar this morning, you said... So I went to the hangar last night and tried to talk to him. You... You tried to talk to him on your own? I'm sorry, I thought it would be preferable for him to release Kaito peacefully. How did it go? It went about as well as I expected. There was no response at all. But I did witness a few things. You said that you witnessed a few things. What exactly did you see? Ah, yes, since we were in a hurry, I only told you about the exosol returning to the hangar. Yes, you said that the exosols could pass through the alarm system and barrier to the hangar. Yes. I never imagined like something like this would happen, so I didn't mention it before. Before I saw the exosol, I saw someone heading toward the hangar. You saw someone? Um, I saw... Himiko. I was in my lab, trying to think of what I should write to convince Kokichi. <laughs> That's when I saw her walking toward the hangar, clutching something in her hands. I think it was a black bag. A black bag? At the time, I assumed she was going there to examine things or plead with Kokichi. And since she came back later, I didn't think much of it. But after seeing her reaction this morning, I started to get a little suspicious. What? What did you see? She was acting like she had something to hide. It's not that I want to suspect her. True, it is suspicious. You said you saw her come back as well. Was she holding the bag at the time? Now that I think about it, she didn't. So she had it coming in, but not leaving. Well, we, we know where it is. It has to be. That black bag Himiko was carrying was... By the way, this is a little off-topic, Shuichi, but... Huh? What is it? The reason I wasn't feeling well may have been due to the electrobomb. But it was because of the electromagnetic particles, not because I'm a robot. So what I experienced was akin to an allergic reaction, such as hay fever. So it could have affected a human the same way. Being a robot had nothing to do with it. Ah, uh, right. That that must be it. Uh, okay. So that thing Himiko said was bothering him. He really is a bit too sensitive. This is the control panel that controls the electric barrier protecting the hangar. We hit it with an electro hammer, so it isn't operational right now. That's right. What are these marks here? It looks as if it's been struck by something sharp. What could these be? Uh, wait, how were they even able to damage this in the first place? Getting near the control panel should cause the alarm to go off. You have to turn off the alarm before you even get close. So how did the person who did this get near the control panel? With an exosol, obviously. I mean, I feel like it's screaming obvious. Alright, well... We have a couple of things to check. One is this window. This is the bathroom window. This is the hangar's only window, and it's not possible to fit through. That means the only way to get into this hangar is through the shutter. I mean, that looks more than big enough to fit through. I mean, just think about Persona 5. I should LP that now that I've got a ripsaw. Anyway, that's about all I was concerned with in the hangar, but I still don't have enough clues. There have to be more. The other places that might yield some clues are Maki's lab and my lab. The crossbow in the bathroom, the bottle of poison. I need to investigate those leads. I should also inspect the three exosols that were protecting Monokuma. 
Why were they protecting him in the first place? That might be related to the case as well. Hmm. It may. Alright. Uh, there they are. The exit stall isn't showing any signs of moving. If Kokichi is alive, he can use his remote control to move him as he pleases. But that remote con control Kokichi has for the exit stalls. What is it exactly? Does he have that because he's the mastermind? Okay, well, I checked the exosols. Um. N now what? Anything in this corner of the world? The answer is no. Uh. Oh. There's an electro hammer here, but why? And it's out of power, so it must have been used. But used for what? But be careful. The electro hammer runs out of battery pretty quickly. So if you use it against an exosol, it'll run out of juice with just one shot. Got it? If the electro hammer's power is expended, it requires 24 hours to recharge. We know that for certain. Hmm. I remember the site I saw yesterday. Exosol's protecting Monokuma for some reason. Kokichi said he was the mastermind. The Exosol should have been around him. So why are they still protecting Monokuma? And four of them, too. I suppose I was so caught up thinking about Kokichi, I ignored Monokuma. Pay attention, listen up, and take heed, I say. Monokuma! It's just, I noticed that you came this way last night, Chuichi. Huh? <laughs> you were acting all sneaky, weren't you? Like a teenage boy trying to creep into the adult movie section of the video store. But you didn't need to sneak around, because the Exosols wouldn't have attacked you. What are you saying? We didn't have to sneak... Because everyone's coming to rent adult movies, so in a way, everyone going there is the same... N no, not that. I meant about the Exosols not attacking us. Oh, at the time, the Exosols were on autopilot and directed to only observe me. Their movements are more limited now than... Now that the Monokumas... Okay, come on. Now that the Monokubs aren't around to pilot them. Autopilot? You mean the remote control Kokichi has? Yeah, that's pretty much it. So the Exosols were being controlled by Kokichi's remote control. But they were focusing on Monokuma? Why are you telling me all this? This puts the person controlling you at a disadvantage. Yeah, but we're not talking about that. We're talking about this. Even if it puts someone at a disadvantage, the class trial must always be fair. The person who shared that info with me didn't seem interested in sharing it with you guys. So you share it instead. That way it'll be fair to all the participants. So someone else besides me knows this. Why wouldn't they- why wouldn't they share this information? Okay! That's all I can tell you! By the way, renting movies is so old school, it's more thrilling to illegally download them. It's like trying not to get caught by a big game hunter while holding your breath during sex! Right, okay, so this information about the exosols could be a clue to solving this case. I should remember this. Hmm. Well, we've done everything we can here, so let us head up to the two labs. Things are shaping up. And we've only spent half an hour, so we could probably get through the entire, um... The trial. I'm like, there's a word I'm looking for here. Here are my frames. 79 drop frames over the course of half an hour. Not bad, not bad. Considering this is running at 30 frames a second. So that's like two seconds of frames. Actually, like two and a half. But anyway. Uh, we, we don't care about the math of frames and, um, frame rate and stuff. Let's, let's just go up. But yeah, I was testing it. Uh, the Ripsaw, the Razor Ripsaw, that is, actually is very, very good. Like, way better than I even could have expected. Because when I'm playing, like, Monster Hunter, for instance, on OBS, over OBS, um... 
I it I don't feel like it's delayed at all. And that's insane considering that the Hapaj had like a good two seconds. But Yeah, it's almost like instantaneous. It's pretty insane and pretty awesome. Maybe it's because it's USB 3.0. I don't know. I feel as though there are less weapons here than I remember. Aha! Okay, so he did wear it on the left. Alright, everyone's here. I hope you're all ready. It's because Kaito had them. Feels I feel as though there are less weapons here than I remember. It's because Kaito had them. I I know. Thank you. You you said this already, the dude. We'll never get to know what what's with that coat, will we? That's a shame. Uh, the missing black bags. There we go. As I suppose I believe it. As I suspected, there are two black bags here, identical to the one in the hangar. They're cases for the crossbows, and the crossbows are inside, but disassembled. Looks as though they... It looks as if they don't even fit in the case unless they're disassembled. But there are two. When I was here with Kaito before, there were three of them. And I'm sure that Kaito didn't have a crossbow with them. Eh, come to think of it, that is kind of weird. In that case, the crossbow and the hangar must have come from here. Which means someone must have brought it to the hangar from here. But it's fairly difficult to put together the crossbow. I don't believe you'd be able to do it unless Maki taught you. No. I'll think more about that later. For now, I need to investigate. Yep, so only three people here can do it. Us, Maki, and Kaito. Look at all these guns! Even if they're all airsoft guns, it's a remarkable sight. But that's it. That's a bit. That's about it. It's just, well, there were three cases and now there are two, so that means the one in the bathroom must be the one from here. Okay, moving on then. Alright, now we just need to remember which poison went missing. Should be easy for Mr. Ultimate Detective, right? Right? Okay, let's see. Um, Go over this way. Whoosh. Tsumugi's lab! No, I, I have no reason to go there. <laughs> um, we have this one. This doesn't have anything to do with the case. I only have a limited time to investigate. I can't get distracted. Huh, okay. That bottle of poison in the hangar. I need to confirm that it came from here. There are several bottles of poison lined up here. I haven't seen any poison outside of this lab, so... The small bottle of poison I'm... Found must have come from here. Hmm? There's a little less liquid inside this bottle than the others. The label says strike nine poison. This poison takes some time to spread, but even a small amount of it can be lethal. I can't imagine that there's a smaller amount in this bottle for no reason. This must be a clue. There are a bunch of bottles on top of the desk. Did someone take them out? Uh, these bottles say antidote. Antidotes, huh? I didn't know that these were here. According to the labels, each bottle is only one dose. And each one only works on a specific poison. I suppose that makes sense. There are plenty of different kinds of poisons, so that must be true for antidotes. Strike nine poison and antidotes. Th that is disconcerting. None of these antidotes are for the strike nine poison. They're all for different poisons. What could that mean? Alright, right, I've investigated this room thoroughly. 
Um, I didn't find any evidence to suggest Kaito isn't dead. On the contrary, there's plenty of evidence to suggest Kokichi isn't dead. Monokuma's still moving around and the killing game hasn't ended. And Kaito's clothes were in the hydraulic press. Which means the victim must be... No, it's too soon to be thinking like that. If I investigate a little more, I'll find something. There's still time. I should head back to the hangar. Perhaps I missed something, so I should check again. Okay. Well, um, in that case, let us head down to the hangar. Trying to get some... Levels that I just... I just remembered I wasn't, uh, moved in the appropriate place as I should have been. Because it's different f depending on the game I'm playing. If it's, uh, VLR or dot .hack, it'll be up in the top right. So. For this game, it needs to be a little off. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, oh hey, level 58, nice. If we could hit level 60 before the case, that, uh, trial, that would be useful, but it probably won't happen. And on top of that, uh, it might not actually be as useful as I think it is, so. Yeah. Alright, uh, let's see. Well, we did get a new skill from maxing out Tsumugi, and if I remember correctly, it was a pretty decently powerful one. Some panels will be filled in during the beginning. Yep, 2D love for the closing argument. I mean, it's not super useful, but it can be. Though if I can get the monocoin one, I would definitely be uh, shooting for that. It is 16 points though, and I have no idea how much it costs for the other one. Uh, how do you check skills? I don't see any way to unless you're about to go into a trial, weirdly enough. <coughs> oh. Oh! You can do this before the case? It's <laughs> interesting. Uh, yeah, we have 11 points, and this costs 32, actually. <laughs> um, we can't even get these. To the love is only 6 points, though. Uh, oops. I keep pressing this as if it's a freaking, like, Game Boy controller for some reason. Okay. Oh, that didn't cost anything. Oh, wait a minute. They're already unlocked! Oh, man, I feel dumb. <laughs> okay. Well, in that case... We just don't have enough slots. Um, I really like focus. Uh, definitely need upshift. Definitely need mind's eye. I like librarian's glare. Um, yeah, no, that's useful, too. Definitely. Okay, well, I like all these skills. Um, hmm, so yeah, level 60 would actually be really useful. <laughs> well, I mean, if that's the case, um, I'd rather have financing. Man, I feel dumb. Okay, so that's how that works. Okay, if we get enough levels, I'll try it. Otherwise, uh, we can always buy one of the four-point skills. Most of them at this point are now not that useful, but, eh, it doesn't hurt. Okay. Yeah, we got nowhere close to level 59 from that run. <coughs> Is something wrong? I found something strange in the bathroom. Please hurry. He shouted quickly and ran into the bathroom. What are you talking about, Kiba? 
Well, everyone's here, so... Maki, why is it so easy for you to believe Kaito is dead? Because she's screwing with us. Bathroom looks the same as usual. Kibo, what are you looking at? Take a look at this. These are Kokichi's clothes? It's soaked and wrinkled, but there's no doubt these are Kokichi's. Where did you find this? I didn't see it when I was investigating the bathroom. And why are they soaked? Well, the toilet seemed clogged, so I reached my hand down the drain and pulled out these clothes. It looks like they couldn't be flushed all the way. Couldn't be flushed all the way. Why are these clothes in the toilet in the first place? Yes, it was very brave of me, and thanks to that I managed to find an important clue. Now, Shuichi, please investigate as much as you want. Okay. Uh, yeah. Clogging the toilet, huh? But this isn't the time to hesitate. Being, being a detective is dirty work. Kokichi's clothes found in the bathroom. If they were found in the toilet, someone must have tried to flush them. But who would do that? Is something the matter? Please investigate. Okay. Uh, uh, okay. The ultimate detective can't stop here. This has to be an important clue. Alright. I made up my mind. Grabbing Kokichi's soaked clothes and spread them open. Huh? There's a small hole in the back. And another hole on the sleeve. This is about the same size as the one on Kaito's sleeve. There are traces of blood around the holes, too. What does this mean? It could mean that he was attacked. In that case... No. There's a chance Kokichi was the one crushed in the hydraulic press. Thank you. Uh, Kibo, thank you. Thank you. This is a very important clue. Oh, I'm happy I was able to help, but I must decline shaking that hand of yours. <laughs> Your hints aren't clean either, though. But if Kokichi was the one crushed in the hydraulic press... Where did Kaito go? Why not show himself? Why is this game still going even though the Mastermind is dead? Um, um if this is awkward, Shuichi, I can leave and give you some privacy. You're concerned about that? Kibo and I washed our hands in the sink and left the bathroom. Don't ever do that again. That made me really dizzy. <laughs> Now that we're out of the bathroom, we can get a lot more thinking done. R right. I'm gonna go back in. Wasn't trying to talk to Maki, actually. <laughs> back up. Okay. Let's give everyone a once-over. Including Miss Black Bag herself. Himiko Yumeno. You and Kibo look both look more refreshed now. Refreshing each other in the boys' bathroom. Even now, you can't help yourselves, huh? That's true. This is all Himiko's imagination, but I don't even want to touch that right now. Hey. hey, it's almost time for the class trial to start, right? Was no one able to find Kokichi? I wonder. I haven't heard from anyone. I wonder where he went off to. Oh, he's in the press. Well, that sucks. Did he disappear? He can't still be in the hangar. Or un under there. Could it be? Shuichi, do you think the one who died was Kokichi? Huh? Seems like... I mean, your face says you want to think that. It's plain but I think that's just plain impossible. Kokichi's been manipulating us all from the start. I can't believe someone like that could be killed by Kaito. Uh -huh. Ah, of course. I don't mean to compliment Kokichi or make fun of Kaito or anything. I know, you're probably right. Tsumugi has a good point. I still don't have enough clues to conclude that Kokichi died. But I'm certain that one of them must have. Shrine of Judgment in the courtyard and head to the trial grounds. 
Hmm. Everyone needs to be there. That means Kokichi or Kaito, whoever's alive will be there. At the trial, we'll know who the victim is. Time to grind levels! No, um, I'm not gonna do that. Don't worry. It would take literally an hour. <laughs> Especially considering it's filling extremely slowly suddenly. But I guess the thing that fills the experience bar the most is actually investigating stuff, so. Let's head into the Shrine of Judgment. Huh? This isn't everyone, right? I don't know. Give me a sec. <laughs> uh, let's see. Okay, increases maximum influence a little. You know, considering how much we've screwed up in the past, let's go for it. Um, well, that's all the slots, so. Uh, um, Kaito and Kokichi aren't here. I bet Kokichi's already there. As the mastermind of the killing game, he's waiting for us to arrive. No. We don't know that yet. There's still a chance that Kaito is alive. Cut it out. Maki. This is a battle between hope and despair. If I show any weakness like you are, then I know you. I'll lose to despair. Lose to despair. Six of us will participate and one of us will die after this class trial. There only will... Then only five will be left. Only five. Th that's right. We're the only ones left. We can't lose to despair. If, even if we have no future, we need to win. That is the whole point of this class trial. I will defeat Kokichi no matter what I have to sacrifice. No matter what she has to sacrifice? Are you sure about that, Maki? Is that what you call hope? I know that we can't lose to despair, but something is wrong. Something doesn't feel right. I wonder what Kaito would say at a time like this. What would he say to us if it was Kaito? We didn't say a word to one another. Silent as a tomb, we stepped into those open doors. We had lost the will to live, knowing that what we know about the outside world. But somehow, despite that despair, we found a new reason to live. To win the battle between hope and despair. But now, what do we do? What do we know? We don't know what hope means to us anymore. What is hope? A burden you bear? As those thoughts pierced my mind, I suddenly stopped. I can't think about things like that anymore. The only thing I need to think about is survival. Hmm. A little bit nostalgic. Oh, a battle like this takes me back. After all, hope and despair are natural enemies. Yes, this is a truly magnificent theme. <laughs> Only seemed esteemed works of fiction have themes as magnificent as this. Anyway, where's Kokichi? Why isn't he here? Maki was right. The person who should be here isn't. Well, I'll tell you once the trial starts. What's going on now? What are you scheming now? It doesn't matter what Kokichi is scheming. This is the final battle between hope and despair. It all ends here. Kokichi can twist and violate the rules all he likes, but he'll never get will never give up. Hope will never submit to despair. Oh, for the love of no rules have been violated, not on my watch, you know. Whatever. Hurry up and start. We'll end with this 
We'll end it with this class trial. We'll defeat the remnants of despair no matter what. So get ready. Yeah, yeah, I got it. Now let's get started. Mix equal parts life and death at a dash of lies and truth. Bake it in the fires of conflict. And when it's gold brown and bubbling, you have yourself a truly decadent class trial. And once more we face the class trial. Was the one who died Kaito or Kukichi? I can't say for certain, but I still believe. Kaito wouldn't die so easily. I don't know why I believe that so strongly. Hmm, purple. But I will fight to prove it. I will fight with everyone. To grasp the hope on the other side of this truth. I will fight. I will fight in this trial of truth and lies. Heck yeah, I want to save. You kidding me? That took like an hour. Alright. It's time to begin the fun. Unified against the mastermind, Kokichi, the students must survive a class trial without knowing the murder murder or the victim an unpredictable trial begins let's do it Anyway, let's get this trial moving. I guess we have no choice but to start the trial under these conditions. Nope. What's there to even talk about? The Blacken is the mastermind of Kichi. Yeah, that's the only thing I can think of, too. It's too soon to decide anything for certain. I don't even know if Kaito was the victim. How long are you going to say that? The victim is Kaito. End of discussion. But we need to be absolutely sure if we don't positively identify the victim. The other person will never show themselves, right? Before we can identify a suspect, we need to determine who the victim is. Why are we even talking about something so obvious? What a pain. Hmm. 
Everyone thinks that Kaito is the victim, but I have my doubts. There's a chance Kaito is still alive. If we keep discussing the case, I'm sure we'll see the truth. Alright, and so we start with the non-stop debate. Monokuma File 5, Hydraulic Press, Kaito's Coat, Kokichi's Clothes. That is true. So he could have killed him whenever he wanted. Also true. And the hydraulic press had his clothes inside. Mm-hmm. Kokichi can't be the victim because there's no evidence for it. Bingo. The victim must be Kaito. And the culprit must be Kokichi. You have a really good side of it. Kazing! If only maybe you could pass your by spell. <laughs> Kazing! <laughs> There's no evidence that allows us to confirm the victim or the survivor. It's too early to declare who the victim is. No, that's wrong! V counter! Alright, starting off well. I have evidence that points to Kokichi being the victim. I found this in the hangar. Yeah. Is that Kokichi's coat? Yes, and look here. There are blood stains on the sleeve. That would indicate that Kokichi suffered an external injury, correct? <laughs> Kokichi was injured? The fact that these were flushed down the toilet implies that they are evidence of a crime. What about it? Kaito's clothes were in the hydraulic press. As long as we have So is one of them running around naked? There's no doubt that Kaito was the one murdered. <coughs> yeah, that's right. It's one of those irrefutable evidence things. Ever since she found the body in the hangar, Maki's insisted that it's Kaito's. But why is that? I thought we had an understanding. I thought she'd want to believe Kaito is still alive. Either way, it seems Maki's hung up on Kaito's clothes. In that case, I need to demonstrate the flaw in relying on that evidence. If I do that, I think she'll realize there's a chance that Kaito is alive. Actually, there's something bothering me about the clothes found in the hydraulic press. Hmm. What about them? There's something peculiar about those clothes. The blood stain? Er, the the sleeve. That's it. It's like, oh yeah, of course it's blood stained. <laughs> As as grotesque as that thought is. Oh crap. I knew this was coming. Huh? You're dumber than I thought if I have to go out of my way to explain it to you. If you can't even see that, then be quiet. Otherwise, you're just annoying me. Rebuttal showdown. The coat sleeve sticking out of the hydraulic press is rather telling. It couldn't have been anyone else but Kaito. If you can't see that, then you weren't looking hard enough. I wasn't looking hard enough. What do you mean? He always dressed himself in a rather odd manner. He never put his arms through his coat sleeves. So when the hydraulic press crushed him, all that stuck out was his coat sleeve. If you understand to be quiet already, otherwise you're getting in the way. Maki's claim appears solid, but I know it's not. She's wrong, we can't Kaido... We can't claim he's dead on that evidence. 
Um, in a rather odd manner. He never put his arms through his coat sleeves. I'll cut through your words. The counter on those is a little too hard. <laughs> All right. Yes, it's true. Kaito never put his arms through his sleeve. But that was just his right arm. He wore his left sleeve normally. And the left sleeve was the one we found outside the press. Knowing how Kaito wore his coat, that's oddly strange, isn't it? Then maybe neither of his arms were through the sleeves. Huh? Huh? It's a possibility. In the end, your reasoning is full of holes. Just like the sleeve! Stop getting in my way. I have to defeat Kokichi. Maki, what's really going on? It seems you've made up your mind that Kaito's definitely dead. But why would you do that? It's like Maki said, though. Kaito's gotta be the victim. Because if Kokichi, the mastermind, was dead, the killing game would be over. Hmm. Yeah, that's true. Is it? Monokuma, hurry up and bring Kokichi here. We already know who the victim is. Already? You sure it's not too soon? We need the suspect present, now that he's the subject of our discussion. Gotcha. I guess I'll bring him out now. Hey, Mr. Suspect! That's your kill! Oh, that's one way to do it. Why is it so jittery? Um, sounds like the video file broke. <laughs> An Game? Hello? What? Why is an exosol here? <laughs> Whoops, my bad. Seems like I gave you guys a scare, huh? <laughs> what is this? Is that Kaito's voice? Kaito? <laughs> there was a lot going on, so I just hid in an exosol and kind of dozed off. <laughs> and that's why I'm so late. Anyway, what's going on, guy? Oh, hold on. Then the one that died wasn't Kaito. Stupid! That was just a lie! <laughs> you guys thought I died? <laughs> I would never! No way! What is going on? Kokichi? I'm gonna laugh instead of cry. Wow, that's old. How old are you? I thought as much. Your appearance right now is fit for a lowly asshole like you. <laughs> You're making me blush. You're getting so angry over me. Uh, 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 is that uh, really you, Kokichi? Uh, that's right, Cracker Jack. Seriously, how old are you? Then why are you hiding in there? Show yourself. Oh, this is more for self-defense. Little Miss Cranky Pants would kill me if I showed myself. 
You know, it's fair. You can't believe it because I'm like this, right? That's what I thought. In that case, I brought evidence. Evidence? Evidence? Ta da! The video camera. It was in the warehouse, but I brought it to the hangar just in case. Man, that was a smart. He sounds kind of weird. Thanks to this, I filmed it so everyone could see it clearly. The moment the victim died. What did you say? Alrighty then. Let's watch this shocking moment. Hey, Monokuma, can you connect the video camera to the monitor? Roger that! Monokuma grabbed the camera from the Exos Hall, hooked it up to the courtroom's monitor, which just appeared, and played the tape for us. Hopefully this one doesn't break, because it sounds like it'll be kind of important. Well, that definitely seemed like Kaito, and definitely seemed like he was crushed to death. Huh? Kaito? This is terrible. Why would something like this? I saw it through my fingers. The word Kaito was crushed. By the way, I'd like to add that this footage has not been doctored in any way. Oh, okay. This video camera only has the basic functions. That's fair. Just the play, record, and pause button so you can't edit after filming. And of course, I didn't upload it to a computer to edit it either. Right, Monokuma? Oh, you can talk. Your answer is necessary for a fair discussion. I see. If it's necessary for a fair discussion, then I will answer. No trace of that footage was found on any of the computers inside the academy. Hmm. See. Play, record, and pause, huh? Computer, then editing the footage would be impossible. Which means this footage is 100% real. If that's the case, then it would seem our suspicions can be lifted. Hmm. I don't know about that. The body we found inside the hangar, crushed in the hydraulic press, is definitely Kaito. The murder video has been recorded in the monopad. View from the truth bullets. Sweet. Okay. It doesn't actually play the video. That's a kind of a shame. You know, Phoenix Wright did that, and that was on freaking DS. Was that... Was that really him? I hope no one in the audience is squeamish today. Why? Why was Kaito killed? K Kokichi had no reason to kill Kaito. He had just told us that he was the mastermind and that the killing game was over. So what would he gain by killing Kaito? say that the culprit is you. Huh? Why? You filmed the moment the victim died, which means you were present at the scene. As the person who filmed this footage, you're the only one who could be the culprit. 
It's not terrible logic. But if the culprit shot the video, why would they go out of their way to show it? Oh man, you got me. Yeah, I'm the culprit. <laughs> what? <laughs> For sure, G. I totally dug my own grave. Here's the truth. I decided to participate in this trial in an exosol after I killed Kaito. Of course, it was mostly to make the victim unknown. To jazz up this trial. I took that footage for proof, so I could reveal it after you guys get the correct answer. But, <laughs> I totally spaced out. I wasn't supposed to show it right away. So does that mean you admit to the crime? Oh. I dug my own grave again? Well, I don't think you guys will believe any of the excuses I make now. So, I give up. You're giving up? Does that mean it's been decided? Is it okay that this trial was so short? That's fine. We knew from the very start that Kokichi was the killer. Hmm. But before we vote, I want to say something to Kokichi. You may be the mastermind, but I won't let you escape after you violated the rules. That would desecrate the killing game Junko and Oshima created, right? Your beloved Junko and Oshima. Junko? Whatever. It's voting time now. Let's go before Kokichi changes his. No, hold on a second. This isn't right. That reaction was suspicious. Confesses to the crime and the trial ends? That's not how this goes. It doesn't sound like the kind of game Kokichi or Monokuma or Junko would play. What if the mastermind got tired of it? The remnants of despair were like that. No, if they were tired of it, they wouldn't have put all that effort into the video. There would have been no need for this class trial in the first place. Something's not right. We need to get a better feel for the situation. I think Kokichi has some sort of plan. He's trying to trap us. Trap us? Are you saying Kokichi isn't the culprit? Then are you suggesting one of us is the culprit? What? It's not Kokichi, then the culprit must be one of us. One of us. One of us. That's not possible. No, I didn't say that. I was just saying it's dangerous to trust Kokichi. <laughs> Shuichi is so distrusting. But it's exactly like Shuichi said. I'm actually not the culprit. <laughs> Seriously? What? But that contradicts what you said previously. The yeah, uppers, that was a lie. Sorry, I lied again. The real culprit of this case is super bad at hiding themselves, so I thought I could help. I pretended to be the culprit by using the footage. It made the game more interesting, too. Uh, are you serious? Because Kokichi is the culprit. He killed Kaito. No matter how much he deceives us, it won't change our minds. The footage shows he did it. Kokichi has to be the only option. Hmm. The only option. Is that really true? Are we just going to leave it at that? No doubt that Kokichi is the culprit. We all saw that footage from earlier, right? Kaito got crushed to death. Hmm. What a horrible video. 
Whoever committed that crime was with Kaito in the hangar. Which just leaves Kokichi then. Then the culprit is Kokichi Oma, the mastermind of this entire killing game. And Kaito's killer. Kokichi killed Kaito with the hydraulic press. That's the consensus right now. But is that even possible? There's no doubt that Kokichi is the culprit. We all saw that footage from earlier, right? It was so graphic. B counter. The safety function would make it impossible to kill Kaito with the press. The safety function. Yes, it was written on the safety precautions. The hydraulic press will automatically stop if its infrared sensor detects a living organism. So the hydraulic press won't move at all if there's a living person under it? Which is why it couldn't have been used to kill Kaito. Which means it's more likely that Kaito was crushed after being killed by some other means. Disable the infrared sensor of the safety function with an electro bomb. No, I don't think Kokichi would use an electro bomb for that purpose. It would have taken down the hangar's alarm system and the Exosol's remote control. It would have put Kokichi at a significant disadvantage. But you can't be too sure I wouldn't do that. I'm the type who would do anything for fun. Also, we don't have any evidence of a different murder method other than the hydraulic pr No, we do. I have a plausible theory for the murder. What? Yes, there is a clue that suggests the victim was killed before being crushed. I found it somewhere around the hydraulic press. The blood stain? This is it! Okay. <laughs> I'm like There was a swipe pattern blood stain in the hangar, suggesting a body was dragged. <laughs> the blood stain goes from the bathroom all This reminds me of Final Fantasy 7. <laughs> <gasps> that was the restroom where Kaido was being held, wasn't it? <sighs> blood stains were also found inside the bathroom. That can't be coincidence. So Kaito was killed in the restroom, then dragged to the press and crushed? If the bloodstain even was Kaito's. Hmm? Huh? What? We only guessed that Kaito was killed in the bathroom. Since his body was crushed, we'll never know if Kaito died some other way. We might not be able to examine the body, but... We do have evidence that suggests the cause of death. There. The small hole on the sleeve of Kaito's coat is the key to his cause of death. Just a small hole? No, no, no. There is no way that hole's got anything to do with the weapon. I'll hit you with my everything you buy will go on sale the next day, curse. Himiko, what's wrong? Why are you freaking out all of a sudden? Um, I'm not freaking out. I'm just saying it's impossible for the weapon to be that small. No, it's not impossible. I can show you. The weapon that left that small hole in Kaito's sleeve. Oh, um, it, it'd be the crossbow. This is it. I believe the weapon was the crossbow found in the bathroom. <laughs> a 
crossbow arrow would certainly leave a hole that small. Can we then conclude that Kaito was shot with that crossbow? If so, that crossbow just might be the actual murder weapon used to kill Kaito. Ah, I see. It's so surprising that a crossbow is the murder weapon. Seriously, Himiko, what's wrong? She probably needs to pee. Anyway, about Kaito getting shot. If that was his cause of death, then I wonder who shot him with the crossbow. Well, I already know. But I won't tell you! He's just playing with us. Then let's show him that playtime is over. Let's show him that the students of Pope's Peak Academy will never submit to despair. Hmm. That Exosol is definitely acting pretty weird, even for being Kokichi. Kaito would have been in there, but the murder weapon was a crossbow. Knowing that, we should be able to visualize the murder. What a mystery, right, guys? Who else but you could have done it? The shot would need to be fired from inside the hangar to hit Kaito. We couldn't go in the hangar. The alarm system and electric barrier were in the way. If we couldn't go in the alarm system and electric barrier. So I'm the culprit. It's got to be the front shutter on that one, but I don't know about this. Oops. Because of the alarm system, we couldn't get near the shutter. If, if we could, we'd just get stopped by the electric barrier. Kaito was trapped in the hangar. He couldn't come in contact with anyone except Kokichi. Oh, wait, 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 This. Who else but you could have done it? The shot would need to be fired from inside the hangar to hit Kaito. Dang. Oh well. Suspect list grows to six people, including me. What did you say? But put plainly, that means it seems Shuichi wants to make one of us the culprit. Is that it? Is that what a detective does? Huh? Do detectives always accuse people, even when they're friends? 
seems like it. You suspected Kaito in the previous class trial, too. You're always suspicious of your friends. Hmm. What's wrong, Maki? You seem like you're kind of on edge. Of course I am. When we said we would defeat the remnants of the spare, someone got in our way. No, you don't understand. I'm not trying to... It doesn't matter how much you get in my way. I will absolutely defeat Kokichi. I won't let despair escape. I won't let it win. Now, now. Let's stop this boring fight and continue on with the not-so-boring trial. So we all agree that the murder could be done by anyone and not just me, right? That might be true, but I didn't know about the window. Neither did I. Really, Himiko? What's the matter? You've been weird since we mentioned small holes. What? Are you after my small hole too? <laughs> Look at it this way. Just because the culprit could be anyone, not everyone is a suspect. We can pretty much narrow it down to anyone who knew about the crossbow. I never knew about any crossbow. In other words, I'm not suspicious. There's no way you can consider me. It does concern me that Himiko went to the hangar last night. Blah! to the hangar, Himiko? Yes, she did. I definitely saw her. You, you were watching me? It's awfully suspicious that you went to the hangar last night. Okay, then the culprit is Himiko. Wait, don't say it's me. Maki is more suspicious than I am. What? came from your research lab, right? You could have gotten that crossbow whenever you wanted. Anyone could have gone to her research lab, though. She's not the only suspect. I don't know about that. She's definitely the most suspicious. Even if you make that scary face at me, I'm not gonna get scared. <laughs> Because if you start panicking, then we'll know that you're the culprit. I said I'm not the culprit! I swear! She's been accused in like every single class trial. Why am I a suspect? Uh oh. Yeah, I'll admit that I'm suspicious. Okay, maybe I am the culprit. Maybe I'm the culprit. <laughs> Maybe I'm the culprit. Uh, mass panic. All right. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. We should look at the inconsistencies in her testimony. There's a lie there somewhere. If I empty handed, don't assume I was talking about holding my chest. Anyway, I didn't have anything and saw n n nobody saw anything. Yeah. What? Oh, Kibo's account. I like how Tsumugi was in one and then the other.
break. You said that you went to the hangar empty-handed, but that's a lie, isn't it? What are you talking about? It's not a lie. But Kibo saw you. He said you were headed toward the hangar, carrying a large black bag. Yes, Himiko was definitely carrying a large black bag. No, that was probably Tsumugi cosplaying as me. We all know that's not the case. Cosplay as someone unless they're a fictional character. Himiko, this is the bag you were carrying, isn't it? That's the crossbow case. There's no mistake. That is the bag I saw Himiko carrying. What? Hold on. Himiko went to the hangar with a crossbow? Uh-oh. Well, it's decided then. That is true. But we can, can but can we really trust Yumiko here? She was acting very suspiciously. But you brought the crossbow. To hit Kaito with the crossbow, you'd have to be fairly good with it. Could Himiko have done this? That's the question. Would be difficult for anyone who hasn't taught how. Okay. Yep, yep, that's true too. <laughs> Yep, it's all my fault. I agree. <sighs> okay. That was a hard one to shoot. Someone without the proper training could have assembled it. Well, what if Maki taught Himiko how to assemble the crossbow? He didn't teach me that, right, Maki? What's wrong? Are you mad about before? They were gonna suspect me. Oh, I lied. I really have to question your morals if you're blaming Maki for your lie, Himiko. I don't think you're allowed to say something like that. <laughs> I'm sorry, Maki. Please, can you tell them the truth? Fine. I'm not going to lie. 
I didn't teach Himiko how to assemble the crossbow. She couldn't have used it. See? I told you! It's just like I said. Everyone who suspected me needs to apologize right now! She changed back so fast. I think I might have whiplash now. <laughs> then, why did you bring the crossbow to the hangar, Himiko? I was asked to. Asked to? Perhaps the person who asked was... It was Maki, right? Huh? Why would I ask for such a thing? Everyone's staring at me. Okay. <laughs> uh, then it was Kaito. Kaito or Kokichi would have asked for a crossbow to be brought to the hangar. Because Kaito knows how to assemble the crossbow, he certainly could have used it. Knowing that, I can't imagine that anyone else would have asked Himiko. I do not think she would bring it at Kokichi's request. Of course not. Why would I ever listen to Kokichi? I know you like me. <laughs> now, ah, I hate you. But I like you. <laughs> hey, don't play with Himiko's heart. Um, but to think that Kaito asked Himiko to do that. Maybe Kaito is trying to keep the promise we made yesterday. Did you need to add that part? Um, that one part was a. Uh, you know what? Never mind. Yeah, okay, I'll agree with you, Tsumiki. <coughs> Does that mean he was going to kill Kokichi? No, he said it was to disable Kokichi. I wouldn't have helped him otherwise. I trusted Kaito and took a crossbow from Maki's lab. That's when I witnessed Himiko. But then, what did Kaito do after he had the crossbow? I don't know. I just handed him the crossbow and went right back to the dorm. Presumably, Kaito tried to attack Kokichi, only to be disarmed of the crossbow. And then, Kokichi returned fire and shot Kaito. That sequence of events seems logical. Does it? No, it happened a little differently. Both Kaito and Kokichi shot the crossbow. And there's proof of that. Is it is it Kokichi's clothes or Kaito's coat? Shows that Kaito show Kokichi. Okay. This is it. Excuse me. Remember that when we found Kokichi's clothes, there were holes in the back and sleeve. The same kind of hole that was found in Kaito's coat. <laughs> And it was Kaito who shot him, right? Mm, I'm not sure. I don't 
don't remember anything like that. You don't remember whether or not you were shot? <laughs> there is no doubt that they shot each other with the crossbow, but... It doesn't matter. Relevant. It doesn't matter what happened in between. In the end, Kokichi killed Kaito. Maki's been acting strangely. But why? Does she know something? If so, what does she know? Maybe Maki's right. It doesn't matter what happened in the middle. Because in the end, there's no mistake that Kokichi killed Kaito. Then let's hurry up and vote. No, it's too soon. There are still mysteries. Who cares about that? We already know who the culprit is. You sure about that? Huh? Huh? What? Now he's joining in? As the one running this trial, it bothers me when anyone says mysteries don't matter. It affects the overall entertainment value, so I encourage you to really think about things. <laughs> After all, there should be some mysteries that still matter. For example, is Kokichi really inside that Exosol? Stuff like that. What? What are you saying? We already finished that discussion a while ago. Kokichi's gotta still be alive since the killing game's still going. His voice is even coming from the Exosol and everything. Hmm. But we heard it speak in Kaito's voice earlier, didn't we? Yeah, don't rely on that. After all, this Exosol has a voice changer. It what? Because <laughs> <laughs> of that, nobody realizes I'm pretending to be Kokichi. But no more. Sorry for the wait, guys. The stars has arrived. This time for real. What? What's going on? I told you, I'm Kaito. I was just pretending to be Kokichi is all. There's a bit of a situation going on, so I didn't really have a choice. Sorry about tricking you guys like that. My bad. Huh? So Kaito's in there after all? Don't be stupid. How many times are you going to be tricked by him? That's Kokichi pretending to be Kaito. That's the Kaito pretending to be Kokichi. Don't you believe me? Don't ever call me that. Whoa there, chill. You really think I'm Kokichi? I mean, I guess I understand. Sorry, I can't really get out of this thing right now. I'm not. I can't move because of the injury I got from Kokichi. It's so bad I can't even stand. That's why I'm in this Exosol. Is that so? But if you guys don't believe me, then we can't move on. So, you're up, Shuichi. What? What? Me? <laughs> Explain to everyone how I wasn't the one that died. Kaito's alive after all. I think. No, maybe that's just what I want to believe. Is it really true? What's, what story does the evidence tell? Does that story end with Kaito or Kokichi being the victim? I need to give a well-reasoned answer to that question and soon. I can't look away from the truth. The victim of this case is... Uh... Uh. Most of the evidence we have now shows that Kaito is the victim. Wait. Hmm? What's the matter, Shuichi? You gotta say it with confidence. I can't look away from the truth. The victim of this case.
I'm trying, I really am. But I can't think of anyone other than Kaito. Most of the evidence we have points to Kaito. Hey, what's the matter, Shuichi? Just hurry up and tell everyone why I'm not dead. Should be easy. No, I won't. Because you're not Kaito. Hmm. Kaito is already dead. Despair will never die! <laughs> good, good! This is already more entertaining! Now, the Ultimate Academy is proud to present its very own more phenomenal trial grounds! Alright, let's give it everything we've got! Split opinion. Are we all about to debate Scrum with an Exosol? Is, is this happening right now? Which one is dead? is inside the exosol. I got this. Unless he comes out of the exosol, we can't confirm that. He said that he can't leave the exosol because he's injured. Lucky. Anyone who knows about Kaito's injury can make that claim. Is it possible that Kokichi got crushed instead of Kaito? Lucky. Did you watch the footage? Kaito was the one who got crushed. But there was an arrow hole on Kokichi's shirt. I got this. Kaito's clothes had arrow holes too. I want to believe Kaito is still alive and lucky. The mastermind is still alive inside that exosol. Why are you so opposed to Kaito being alive? I got this because the evidence doesn't support the claim that Kaito is still alive. Crouch bind. shows that Kaito must be the one who died. I hate it. I hate it so much. <laughs> but it's the truth. <coughs> I see. If that's the conclusion you've arrived at, Shuichi, then there must be no mistake. Then the one here is... <laughs> <laughs> Looks like I messed around too much. It's just a little joke. What a sick joke! You're still an asshole. True, and I can't forgive him. But we still need to stay calm, be rational. Because we need to get to the truth of Kaito's death. <laughs> yeah! Just keep calm and carry on! My wayward son. On top, why don't we examine the crossbow a little more closely? I think we need to get all the facts straight so we don't fall for any more lies. There we go, Kibo. <clears throat> You know, suddenly he sounds a lot more like actual Kokichi. Alrighty then! Let the debate begin! Sort of. Still sounds a bit off. Something about this just still isn't right. Alright, crossbow three arrows, large bot case, electro bomb used, electro hammer. Kaito's possession first. 
probably fired the first shot at Kokichi too. Then Kokichi disarmed Kaito, took the crossbow, and returned fire. I didn't take the crossbow from Kaito. I secretly brought a different one. But only one crossbow was taken. The other two are still in my research lab. Still, only one arrow was fired. So how could they both shoot each other? By the way, crossbow shots hurt a lot. My wound is still aching something fierce. What? What was that just now? I feel like that goes against the information I have. We didn't we already say that there were three shots though? Crossbow, crossbow. Are still in my research lab. Crab, she testified. Still, only one arrow was fired. That's wrong. Wait, Himiko. What do you mean, one arrow? Hmm? Well, I only gave Kaito one arrow, so. What? What? in the back room, remember? Three? I know I only gave him one. Kaito even told me to only bring him one. He said he wanted to avoid fighting. There were three arrows at the scene, but Himiko said she only brought one. What is going on here? That's a damn good question. Hello. Yeah, this is this is getting weird. This is getting super weird. Then where did those arrows come from? I don't think Himiko's lying. There must be some angle to this we haven't considered yet. What is it? What could have happened? Think. I need to think. Psych taxi? Psych taxi? Ugh, I hate psych taxi. iTunes, please, no! Not right now. Okay. Alrighty. Well, let's, uh, let's take a drive, then. Ow. How arrow Himiko give to? Huh? Ouchies, ouchies, ouchies. How many arrows did Himiko give Kaito? Well, we know that. The answer is one. I'm doing alright, though this case is getting a bit... <clears throat> strange, to say the least. Well, we know it's one. Still not a fan of Psych Taxi, though. The controls are wonky, and... The, the thing itself just still doesn't really... Feel like it clears things up ever. At least not until this point. Maybe this one will prove me wrong. I don't know. I still hate the controls on it though. That that's not exactly gonna change. Were all the hangers and no, were all the arrows inside the hangar from the start? Hmm. I am playing this on a computer. Uh, 
I was playing it on PS, uh, PS4 before, until I realized that the stream thing kind of, um... No? Okay, okay. This actually feels like it clears something up. Um, but yeah, the, the streaming embargo or whatever, however that works, uh, kind of ruined that whole thing. I didn't have a capture card back then. I only got one recently, so. We're doing this this way for now, but all PS4 games will actually be used by that later on. But this is the Steam version of Danganronpa V3. Okay. Who who brought the two arrows? Um There's only one person I can think of. Why would he have them on him in the first place though? Cuz he was captured after we went to the despair game. Despair escape. It's A third party? It's not Himiko. It connects. Does it though? <laughs> All right. Could it be that the additional arrows were brought in by a third party? It's been the cases have definitely been some of the best so far. The overall arcing story. Um, I need more time to formulate my thoughts on that. So the other two arrows weren't for Kaito. They were for the third party to use themselves. Hmm. So the third party didn't hand the arrows through the window. Instead, they went into the hangar and shot the crossbow themselves? Impossible. There was an alarm system and an electric barrier around the hangar. Yeah. Okay. That hangar should have been completely closed off, right? There is one way to get into the hangar even with that. It was completely closed off, but can we confirm that? I feel like there might be another way. Some way that we haven't figured out yet. Well, I've figured it out, but... I'm, overlook so I'm overlooking something. Think. Think. What method did the third party use to enter the hangar? Exosol. Yep, okay. X. Uh, this one's definitely one of the easier hangman gambits that I've ever had to do. I I thought that was an L. Okay. Okay, that one's an easy one. Duh. Of the alarm system and the electric barrier, but that shouldn't have been a problem for any of the exosols, right? So, if you wanted to enter the hangar, all you had to do was pilot an exosol. I saw an exosol enter the hangar last night. So Thank you. You should have seen my other hangman gambits, though, they were bad. <laughs> <laughs> Just anyone pilot an exit? 
I've never had that much of a problem with Hangman Gambits before. Just this one. What? Okay. That same person must have brought the other two arrows with them. Hmm. I told you that's impossible. Huh? There's no way you can get through security if you pilot an exosol. It's not possible. What? Not possible. You sound pretty sure of that, Maki. <clears throat> Maki, what are you talking about? What are you thinking? What do you know? Why are you trying to hide it? Why? Why won't you tell me? Plain out hilarious? That still doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Alright. Exosol, 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 exosol. I was controlling them remotely. The electro hammers weren't an option. Yesterday, all the hammers were still recharging. There's no way to stop an exosol. Mm -hmm. So getting inside one would have been impossible. You're right, it's impossible. It's not impossible. There is one way to stop an exosol, and I have to show them. Yesterday, all the hammers were still recharging. That's wrong. That's wrong. All right. Wait, not all of the electro hammers were being charged. Of course. I know because I found one. I know who this belongs to, but. It also makes sense why she would say that you can't get into it then. Hmm. I am playing blind, yep. The only thing I've been told is that the ending sucks. But I don't know if maybe I already saw why that is. Because of the world being destroyed and all that, but Shuichi is getting warmer. How about you say the answer right now? What? Who did it? Who is this third party? Oh, yeah, I already know. The identity of the third party The Electro Hammer gives us a clue. The only one who didn't just leave their electro hammer lying around and wallowing around in despair. I saw four exosols at the scene yesterday when I met up with Kaito. This morning when we were trying to get into the hangar, there were three. Well, thank you. <clears throat> the culprit must have used the electro hammer between yesterday afternoon and this morning. There's only one person among us that I think could do that. None other than number five, Maki Harukawa. It's you, Maki. You're the third party we're looking for, aren't you? What? It's Maki. What are you saying? Remember what Kokichi said. But be careful! The Electro Hammer runs out of battery pretty quickly. So if you use it against an Exus, all it'll run out of juice with just one shot. Got it. The Electro Hammer needs to be 
charged for 24 hours after it runs out of battery. That hammer was used last afternoon, so it couldn't have been used this morning. Oh, right. When we were all gathered in the dining hall this morning... Maki, where's your electro hammer? I don't need it. I'd rather not use a weapon I'm unfamiliar with. This is much better. A knife? Well, I suppose you know best. Maki was the only one without an electro hammer, wasn't she? She was indeed. Knowing that, the electro hammer I found could only have belonged to Maki. And that leads me to the conclusion <coughs> that Maki must be the third party. She also knows how to assemble the crossbow and could have returned it to her lab later. You brought a different crossbow than the one Kaito had, right? Maki took two arrows and her own crossbow from her lab. Disabled an exosol with an electro hammer and infiltrated the hangar. Now we just have to figure out what happened after the we're doing a rebuttal showdown with Maki again? Why are you doing this? What? Why are you getting in my way? What? Getting in your way? Maki, what are you? Yes. I'm the third party. Okay. Huh? I admit to going into the hangar with an exosol and then shooting the crossbow. Okay. I didn't kill anyone. I'm not the culprit. What? what? <clears throat> but you're, but you're the ultimate assassin. Okay, let's see. Crossbow three. Uh, because I watched a whole gameplay of this game, and although I know not as well anything, you can probably figure out. Since it shouldn't be difficult for you, I will help you if you need it. Okay, thank you. to enter the hangar too. I also shot the crossbow there. However, I am not the culprit. Because the crossbow was not the murder weapon. Blade lock. The crossbow is not the murder weapon? What do you mean? The arrows left holes in my clothes. Think about the locations of the wounds. They were on his arm and back. An arrow to each of those spots wouldn't result in a fatal injury. That's why the crossbow can't be the murder weapon. Therefore, I'm not the culprit. That's really hard to freaking do. I don't want to think that Maki's the culprit. I want to believe her, but the way she's scrambling to defend herself. Think about the locations of the wounds. They were on his arm and back. An arrow to each of those spots wouldn't result in a fatal injury. Be cut! cut your words. Whew. It wouldn't matter where the arrow hit if it were poisoned. Whoops. Sorry. <laughs> I keep doing that. I noticed something about the poison in my lab during the investigation. There was just a little less in the bottle than before. If that poison had been applied to those arrows, they would have been lethal. Would you where they really have seen that? Thank you. I I normally don't get this, so <laughs> it's pretty sweet. What's the matter? Why don't you say anything? Don't tell me. Are you really the culprit? There's no way she is, because why would she kill Kaito? She wouldn't. But she would kill Kokichi. I think I have a layout of this case in my head now. Kill Kokichi in this class trial. She wants to kill the mastermind 
A remnant of despair. Didn't she already though? Then when Maki said she would sacrifice anything, she meant the sacrifice that Maki is talking about must be K Kaito. No, all of us. Mischievous plan was ruined, all thanks to Shuichi here. Too bad, Maki. I already predicted this would happen. You knew all along that Maki was the culprit. That's why you've been so calm. This isn't over. Hmm? Maybe we do have the truth now, but this isn't over. What's not over? We have a choice to make. We don't have to follow where the evidence leads. What? Huh? What do you mean? Does this mean <clears throat> you're gonna vote for someone else, even if it's not the truth? Someone else? <coughs> you mean vote incorrectly on purpose? What did you say? We can let ourselves die. I guess so. Yeah. Then I went to see him yesterday. I see. Kaito was the best. It's a shame. Okay, I'll talk about it. <clears throat> Especially since it's my responsibility for involving everyone. Shuichi, you're so persistent. Were you always like that? Uh, you think so? Maybe Kaito's charisma is starting to rub off on me. That guy could be pretty stubborn. Then what really happened? Maki, please tell us. Please. And so, Maki began telling the truth. A truth that would leave us all in shock. What? Monica, well, shut up. narrating things, you're ruining the mood. <laughs> <clears throat> She's a cinnamon roll. Event isn't exactly boring either. No, Maki's great. Best girl. Not that not that most of the girls in this game were really good choices to begin with. <laughs> but that's that's neither here nor there. Okay. Well, we have a little bit of time left. Let's keep going. And then the Monokuma and Cubs Theater segment began. But with all the Monokuma's Cubs destroyed, the segment was no longer possible. And so the curtain quickly fell. <laughs> Lovely. Okay, resume. The flashback light became the motive. When Kokichi remembered that he was a remnant of despair, I planned to kill him. I thought that if I killed him, this game, and the battle between hope and despair, would end. I was confident in my talent as an assassin. I knew I would be able to do it. Mm. We've tried to end this killing game before, but... You are naive. Huh? That's what I thought. I knew Kokichi would take advantage of my naivete, simply because it's him. 
Maki totally gets me. That's why. I needed to settle it myself. I took the poison arrows and the crossbow. And broke into the hangar with an exosol. But when I entered the hangar, I saw something I never expected. Kaito and Kokichi were fighting each other. Kokichi was shot in the arm with a crossbow arrow. Probably by Kaito when he fought back. Both of them stopped and looked at the Exosol, most likely surprised by its sudden appearance. Kokichi immediately took out his remote and attempted to control the Exosol I was in. I jumped out of the Exosol before he could, and shot Kokichi in the back with an arrow. Hmm. That should have been enough to stop him, since the arrow was coated with poison. The Strike 9 poison, correct? But why pick that particular poison? Some of the poisons in my lab were far more lethal. I wanted Kokichi to confess his true intentions before he died. Hmm. And find out why he was always lying and trying to confuse us. What do you mean? If he was the mastermind, it would have been easier for him to hide in the shadows, right? He could have made it seem as if the late Junko was secretly behind this killing game. That way, he could reveal himself as the surprise mastermind to liven up the game. Because of his suspicious actions, anyone would already suspect him as the mastermind. Especially with that message in the courtyard. Kokichi said it was a hint, but was it necessary for him to go out of his way just for a hint? As a remnant of despair, I imagine he wanted to feel the despair of his plan being thwarted. I think that if he wanted the thrill, he would have carried out the plan carefully. So when his carefully laid out plan goes to waste, he would be in utter despair. Yeah, that's a good point. He must have wanted to hear it directly from Kokichi himself. But it was pointless. I was a fool for thinking I could have a serious talk with him. What are you talking about? Remnants of despair? What's that? I, I don't understand anything you're saying. Killing game when it should have ended. You already know it's all meaningless. And that I'm a mastermind. Do you love killing that much? Shut up, you asshole! I realized it was pointless to continue the conversation, so I shot the final arrow. But then. Protected Kokichi? Why? Why would Kaito protect Kokichi? <laughs> oh boy. My mind went blank. I knew I had to do something about the poison. I rushed to Shuichi's research lab for the antidote. So you didn't have the antidote with you at the time? I used Strike 9 poison to torture Kokichi for info, but I planned to kill him from the start. <laughs> That's so mean! But that was my first mistake. Because of that. You what? I ended up killing Kaito. When I returned with the antidote, the hangar shutter had been closed. I assumed it was Kokichi's doing. But because of that... I couldn't enter the hangar anymore. Hmm. I needed to give Kaito the antidote somehow, so I went to the back room window. Kaito, can you hear me? Quick, drink this antidote! After calling out to him, I chucked the antidote through the back room window. That's the bottle. 
Because the strike nine poison is still in the. Okay. You have an arrow in your back. There's now another class trial is going to start. Class trial? You'll be the blackened for this case, you know. The blackened who killed Kaito. I. I killed. Shut it! Screw the class trials. Like hell am I gonna let you have your way? Kaito! Why did you protect Kokichi? If you didn't help him, then. I couldn't help it. Even if it's Kokichi, I, I can't have you kill anybody. What? Only for her to end up killing him instead. Oh, Oops. Kaito wasn't protecting me. He was protecting Maki. The situation just got way worse. Oh. Maki is going to become the black and responsible for killing you. All because you protected me. during this class trial in exchange for all of your lives so that's what happened hmm. and Kokichi <coughs> knowing what he knew still helps Maki cover up her crime is that why you smushed Kaito in the hydraulic press Kaito wanted Maki to be spotless as his friend I felt obliged to help him how dare you Make fun of him! Knife! You call yourself a friend? You enjoyed watching us suffer! You fucking asshole! Maki plays language. Maki is so scary. Good thing I'm in this exosol. Pretty sure Maki would have already killed me if I was out there in the flesh. So, what are everyone's plans now? With the truth out in the open, who are you guys going to vote for? You can vote for me, but if you do, we'll all die together. Or vote for Maki and live. Well, choose whichever you want. I don't care either way. Why? Why are you so calm? You're Which one's the true ending? <laughs> I who cares? Mm. Choose already. Come on, who are you going to vote for? No, we can't vote yet. 
We don't have the whole truth. What? This case isn't over. Huh? <laughs> Thank you for telling us everything, Maki. Thanks to you, I finally understand. There's another hidden truth within your testimony. What? Oh, come on. Okay. Yes, I'm positive. Because there's something wrong with a testimony you've given us. Hmm. The part of Maki's testimony that doesn't add up. Did Kokichi really drink the antidote? I saw him do it, so there's no doubt. Uh... You're going to doubt Kaito's actions? Well... Oops. <clears throat> okay, we're, we're gonna- we're gonna try this again. Oh my god, I have to sit through this time. <laughs> <laughs> but why doesn't it add up? That's that's the thing I'm kind of confused about. I've had to retry on every single one of these cases. I, I've i never done that in the other two Danganronpa games. Like, there might have been one or two cases that that might have happened in. But not every single case in the entire game. That's it. Okay. Maki said she used a knife to try to break the control panel. Oh, duh, because I would have set off the alarm. I'm, I'm an idiot. Okay. Oh yeah. The alarm should have gone off if someone got close to the shutters. Yeah, we'll pretend that didn't happen. I was too focused to notice at the time. But now that you mention it, it is odd. Maybe the sensor just missed her. Of course. It'd be weird if I hadn't. It's just I couldn't LP them because I already played them. And playing them when you already know all the answers and stuff is kind of boring. Like I told you, this isn't over. There's still a hidden truth to find. You're wrong. Because we had the first game, um, Ultimate Clairvoyant. He, he... What was his name? <laughs> That's right, there must be some kind of reason behind all these oddities. Finding that reason will help us find the hidden truth. Alright, non-stop debate. I did attempt to enter the hangar. And I tried to destroy the control panel with my knife. At the time, the alarm system didn't go off. But if you would approach the shutter, the alarm would have activated with 100% certainty. Hmm, there it is. A special setting is rather vague. It seemed like the alarm system itself was working properly. So what can we learn from that? Yeah, yeah, long seaweed her. Yasuhiro? Yasu Hiko. But if you would approach the shutter, the alarm would have activated with 100% certainty. Whoops! That. What am I doing? <laughs> I, I held down the wrong button and made the electro pump alive. <laughs> okay, we're gonna, we're gonna try that again. 
This time hold the right buttons. Why can I not hit that? There we go. Okay, that's what I was trying to do the first time. But uh, my my hands got mixed up. But yeah, he was an idiot. 100% of the time. But we know that the alarm system was neutralized. It had to be. If that's in that case, then I got it. Disabling the alarm system wasn't the real objective. What? The main objective of Kokichi using an electro bomb was. Ah! That's it. It was to deactivate the safety function on the press. Deactivate the safety function? The electro bomb wouldn't have just taken down the alarm system. It also would have disabled the hydraulic press's safety function. Shouldn't it have disabled the entire press though? that anyone would want to do that. Kaito was still alive! I'm right. It means that we've been thinking about this all wrong. And we were right from the very beginning that Kokichi was the freaking blackened. Cool. Was aspect of this case runs contrary to the new evidence. Kaito's cause of death. didn't die by poison. It could be something else entirely. Yeah, the cause of death could now be... This is it! <coughs> the hydraulic press. Kaito could have been killed by the press after all. What? He could have? If the safety was off, the press could have crushed Kaito... I'm still trying to figure out how the press could operate while it was off, but I tried to open the shutter. So Kaito should have still been alive. And if he was crushed by the hydraulic press after that, then we have our cause of death. And if that's the case, it means the one who killed Kaito wasn't Maki. It would be whoever was operating the hydraulic press. Kokichi. Hydraulic press could have been the cause of death. Could. But that's just a possibility. What do you mean? It's possible that I killed Kaito with the press, but there's no way to know. Kaito's death could have been either the poison arrow or the hydraulic press. Oh, this is even worse than the second game. It's possible, but you'll never be able to determine it. Solve this mystery too. Um, uh, is it really possible to determine Kaiso's actual cause of death? Is this the split? I I imagine it wouldn't be very pleasant. Um. No, there's no evidence that determines the cause of death, absolutely. Sh Shuichi, it can't be. Okay. So that wasn't the, the true ending versus the fake ending. Got it. I hate to admit it, but Kokichi is right. We have no way to prove the cause of death. What did you say? We can't check 
check the body, and you don't have any conclusive evidence. You can't deduce any more from here on out. There's no way to know what happened. So that's what you were trying to do. You were trying to commit an unsolvable murder. <laughs> do you finally get it? Yep, that was my plan. The gimmick of this murder case isn't the unknown victim, but rather the unknowable culprit. Hmm. No one understands but me. Only I know the answer. There's no more room for deduction here. Choose the culprit with your own intuition. What? Intuition. <laughs> Are you troubled? I'm sure robots don't have intuition, right? This is definitely Kokichi. You can do about it. This is just how the trial goes. So, who is the culprit? Maki or me? The heart racing excitement has the blackened and the spotless face off. It's voting time! Wait, what? <laughs> Is it really? Uh. Then. Then it's. Then it's. Then it's. Monokuma. Oh, come on. No one's going to figure out the truth. Let's just vote already. This won't be a problem, right, Monokuma? Because you know who the culprit is, don't you? Have I really gone through all of the evidence we've gotten? Have I used that yet? Um, and the Exazol is protecting Monokuma, but that's about it. Oh, and I guess this, but. Just like you always do. Huh? huh? What's going on with Monokuma right now? Monokuma? Do you not know who the culprit is either? Huh? Oh, what do you mean I don't know? Uh, what don't I know, huh? You don't know, do you? What does this mean? Why doesn't Monokuma know who the culprit is? Monokuma doesn't know who the culprit is either? If Monokuma doesn't know, what does that tell us about this case? Wait, this case. Yes, that's it. So that's what Kokichi's real objective was. Huh? What are you talking about? Kokichi wasn't just trying to commit a murder that we couldn't figure out. He was trying to commit a murder that Monokuma couldn't figure out either. A murder Monokuma couldn't figure out? of that. Kokichi's the one who's controlling Monokuma. Is he? But consider how many elements of this case would be cleared up. <laughs> Prior to this case, Monokuma always knew the specific details of each crime, correct? And that's why the Monokuma file has nothing. Perhaps there are hidden keys strategically placed to avoid our detection. I can't say for certain, but he must be keeping watch somehow. Kokichi probably used the electro bomb to scramble whatever that was. Hmm. The electro bomb would prevent any cameras from sending video wirelessly. Which means it wouldn't matter where the surveillance cameras were hidden. Like I said, what's the point? Kokichi's the one who 
one who's controlling Monokuma! Before we determine that for sure, I want to make one thing clear. If the objective were to create a crime that would stump Monokuma, the Exorcist... Yes, the Exorcists weren't protecting Monokuma. They were... Containing him. Watching him. That's it. Actually, Monokuma said as much. Watching, watching him? Yes. Remember what Monokuma said earlier in the investigation? Pretty sure you were the only one there. Oh, at the time, the Exosols were on autopilot and directed only to observe me. It did at the very beginning. There could be a second one, though. I wouldn't mind. I love that element of the game. Even if it puts someone at a disadvantage, the class trial must always be fair. The person who shared that info with me didn't seem interested in sharing it with you guys. So, you share it instead. That way it'll be fair to all the participants. <clears throat> Bomb in the hangar and the Exosols to watch Monokuma, thereby creating a scenario in which Monokuma has no idea who the culprit is? I told you there's no point! Kokichi's the one who's controlling Monokuma! Is he? No. Kokichi might not be controlling Monokuma at all. What? But Kokichi's the mastermind, right? Shouldn't he be controlling Monoku? Kokichi might not be the mastermind. What? Remember that the only reason we think that is because Kokichi told us. Monokuma hasn't said a word about that. It's possible that Kokichi is just lying to us. <laughs> Here he goes mad. Very <laughs> mad. It is right now. I remember because it's a game. I can't answer that without causing problems, because I've got to run this trial fair and sweat. Even more reason to give us the answer. If you don't tell us the truth right now, you'll be an accomplice to Kokichi's lies. <laughs> Does that sound like a fair game? Would you say this class trial is fair? Yeah, tell us. Is Kokichi the real mastermind or not? No need to think about it. You're being way too forward, you know. Aren't you normally the forward one? <laughs> ah! I mean, I don't mind, because that's probably part of your strategy, too. But in the interest of fairness, I suppose it's time to tell the truth. Unlike the lies you love so much, the truth should be impartial to everyone. And what is that truth? I'm not being 
controlled by Kokichi, because he's not the mastermind. Is that really true? Kokichi was just messing with you. I never once said he was the mastermind. Then it was all Kokichi's lie? Yeah, that is what that would mean. With the key from the last motive, he was the first to learn the truth of the outside world. Based on his deductions, he fabricated a lie to make you all think he was the mastermind. I see. Kokichi's own deductions. Do you want to know? Then I'll tell you. I'm getting kind of bored with all the lying, so everything I say now will be the truth, okay? His deductions got a lot of details right, though. Pretty impressive, honestly. <laughs> but what about the exosols? If Kokichi wasn't the mastermind, how'd he control them so easily? He just used Mew's remote control, right? What? Mew's remote control? So the remote that Kokichi was using was made by Mew? Oh, you didn't know? Mew not only invented the electro bomb and the electro hammer, she also made a remote control that can hijack any electronic device. She was pretty smart, wasn't she? <laughs> Spike towards you for trying to usurp the mastermind's role and take over the game. Well, whatever. It's way more interesting to defeat an enemy who plays dirty anyway. What's going on? It seems like they're actually fighting. There's no doubt about it. Kokichi isn't the mastermind. Are we just being dragged around by Kokichi's lies the whole time? The remote came up earlier. What are you trying to accomplish by pretending to be the mastermind, Kokichi? Yes! Now you're gonna be all quiet? This is so frustrating! Then if he's not the mastermind, who is? That's the question, isn't it? What? What do you mean? Why, that's on a need-to-know basis, and you don't need to know. But I want to know. <laughs> Screw you, Kokichi. The real mastermind is not Kokichi. Who could it be? I, I was thinking it was Junko, but that that can't that can't be it. She's dead. We've never come into contact with her. If so, who's done this? Who planned this killing game? Anyway, this conversation has flown off the rails. Let's get things back on track. This last trial is to figure out who the culprit is, not the mastermind. We'll save that for next chapter. Oh, yeah. Get to talking. I agree. Before we worry about who the mastermind is or what my intent is, let's figure out the culprit. But we can't. But Monokuma doesn't know who it is. How is he supposed to confirm the results? We don't need to worry about that. Let's just leave the decision making to Monokuma. But you gotta run the class trial too. So no mistakes, okay? Are you trying to get me to do something? You've been watching us solve all these cases. But you can't be a spectator anymore. You're going to participate in the class trial from here on out. Huh? <laughs> so, let's resume this class trial. Monokuma, you got to use your brain, too. This will be the final class trial. Me versus Monokuma. What? You versus Monokuma? When I play a game, I intend to win. But what's considered winning in this game? Beating the other players? No. Beating the 
game's mastermind is the true danger. As we've learned from the other two games. That's why I decided to challenge Monokuma. If I can deceive Monokuma till the very end, then I'll be the winner. You're dragging us around like this? Just so you can win a game? That sounds like Kukichi. As I suspected, your thought process defies all logic. <laughs> outside world is in total ruin. This game is the only entertainment we have. At least I can enjoy this game to the fullest and feel good winning. You really are a remnant of despair. Your way of thinking is just chaotic. Well, he is chaotic evil, so. Let's just get this started. He keeps saying that every time we bring it up. What? Ultimate Despair Headmaster. Who invited you? This is getting weird. Actually, that's more of a Final Fantasy or stuff like that. Dragon Quest. Different JRPGs. Okay, so another truth comes out. That piece of evidence makes more sense now. The evidence that I couldn't wrap my head around. The... The... If Monokuma doesn't know who the culprit is, what evidence needs to be analyzed again? I already know about that. We need evidence of what I don't know about. Okay. <laughs> that is robophobic, though. Oops! Uh, I was trying to press X! <laughs> okay. If Monokuma doesn't know who the culprit is, what needs to be checked again? Oh. oh no. no? Okay. Um Oh the mer This is it. Yeah. Let's discuss the video of Kaiko being crushed by the hydraulic press. Let's watch it again. And again. And again. And again. trying to get me to make maybe he crushed kaito with the hydraulic press so the cause of death would be unknown so much pink blood but if that were the only objective uh. there would be no need to film it discovering the crushed body would have been enough no need to show us the film that's true i guess we're starting to fit in after all 
get any cuter, I'm gonna hug you. Huh? Really? <laughs> there must be a reason you went out of your way to show us the body being crushed. No reason, really. That's just my twisted personality. You're lying again, Kukichi. There's a method to your madness. If you wanted Monokuma to make a mistake, then showing us the video... It must have something to do with trying to fool Monokuma. Taking the video of the murder but keeping the victim's identity hidden. What does it show? What doesn't it show? Huh? 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 Um... Victim... Okay, but what does that even tell me? The victim. Huh? huh? Is it even possible? No, that's a question for later. For now, we know that. If you show the moment of Kaito's death, of course it would lead us to believe he died. Yeah, I've Even if we had quite a few experiences with Daim gone wrong, I guess. Kaito was the victim. That might be exactly the mistake Kokichi was going for. Hmm. Does that mean the victims were switched? By the hydraulic press? What? Where would he even get another body? There should be plenty to choose from if you reuse the body of a former victim. If there was an unknown body, then we could guess the victim was switched. <laughs> but too bad. Switching the victims was impossible. Footage showed the body being crushed. When in the footage would they have been able to switch the victim? The ultimate magician would know. No. <laughs> that was not doctored in any way. The camera doesn't have any editing functions. Just play, record, and pause. Monokuma also said that no computer was used to edit the footage. Remember? Damn it! Me and my big mouth! <laughs> Which means switching out the victim would not be possible. It would be with pause? So the victim was switched, then be really be hard, though. Is still alive. We already discussed this so many times. The chance of that happening is impossible. It might be possible. a trick to make the switch possible we just haven't noticed it yet oh and what trick is that pause see you don't know do you i already said it's impossible Maki's not wrong there is a way it could be done so we can't just give up here Hey, Shuichi. I'll think harder about this as well. So, can you confirm whether or not the victims switch places? If Kaito is... alive or not? Maki. I don't like the thought that I killed Kaito. I don't want that. Maki. Okay then, let's talk about the possibility that Maki will mention. Himiko, if you call her that again... Yes, please. <laughs> oh, uh, okay. <laughs> Tsubuki's just like, uh... Right, right. Together. And don't forget, you're not alone. Don't try to do everything yourself. It's only gonna wear you out. When times are hard, you gotta rely on your friends. 
Friendship! I'm sure we'll figure something out. Eh, we're going a little long, but eh, it's fine. There's no trick. <clears throat> I mean, I felt it from the very beginning. A trick to that video. What could it be? What's suspicious about it? Seem a bit unnatural, didn't it? Video. Was it really Kaito? Something seemed off about that video to me. When the hydraulic press stopped for a brief moment. Hmm. That the video was shot at another location? No, that doesn't make any sense. I feel like someone said something that gives us a clue. If we put our heads together, we'll find the truth. We'll find hope and not despair and stuff. No. You think so too, right, Chuichi? The hydraulic press wouldn't stop when I lay under it, but it did stop for Kaito. This is obviously robophobia! Okay, actually, he actually said something very important. No. Uh, you all gotta figure out. There is no trick. You can check, but there's no editing function in that camera. I know there is not. You agree, right, Chuichi? You can't see things well at that angle, but I don't know how that helps us. Why is my phone ringing? A uh, video shot with the camera from the exosol shows the moment. It shows the moment Kaito was crushed by the hydraulic press. Um, the other ones were electro bomb. Lasts for about two hours and covers an area. Rendering electronic communications and sensors unusable. Oh, okay, so it actually wouldn't stop the thing. Each can only be used once of the three that were made. Kokichi had two and Maki had one. Was it really 
Kaito? Something seemed off about that video to me. It's protected by an electric barrier and an alarm will sound throughout the academy. The alarm can be disabled with the alarm remote. The control panel for the electronic barrier is next to it and it has a bunch of marks because it was struck by a, by a bunch of knife shots. The press? The hydraulic press's controls are a short distance away from the device itself. There are two buttons labeled up and down. The body was crushed by the hydraulic press and is unidentifiable. Hmm. Right idea. Yes! I agree. That should have been a V. What the heck? Kibo is on to something. Isn't it weird that the hydraulic press stopped for a second? Because when Kibo and I first investigated that hydraulic press... Right. The hydraulic press kept lowering itself without stopping. But in the video... The hydraulic press stopped briefly? Right before it crushed the body? But why would it stop? Why did the press stop? There's only one reason I can think of. The stop button. Oh. You know, I was wondering, because we hadn't actually had one of these yet, had we? I also hate Mind Mine. What even is that? That's the electronic control panel. Oh, there it is. Oh, come on. I see it. Actually, yeah, mine mine is way worse than Psych Taxi. Stop the hydraulic press is the four stop button. An electro bomb went off in the hangar, which would have interfered with the safety function. There'd be no way to stop the hydraulic press unless someone used the four stop button. When you say someone, you mean Kokichi, right? He was the only one there. Hmm, actually, maybe I pressed it by accident. I don't really remember. So what of it? The press only stopped for like a sec. You can't switch the victim in such a short time, can you? That's true. There's also the question of how the bodies got switched while the camera was rolling. That would have clearly been caught on camera. While the camera was rolling. Oh, I see. It wasn't just the press that stopped. Huh? Huh? What do you mean? If you stop something else at the same time you stop the hydraulic press. Yes, I see it now. That's how the bodies were switched. If you stopped that, you could have swapped the bodies easily. Are you... are you kidding me right now with this? 
Oh, that's all focus does is show you possible things to press. That's that's really dumb and useless. Thank you. Uh Oh, yep, and that's the thing I need, of course. So we're gonna we're gonna have to mine this too. Okay. Oh, I know, but you know, got to do something, right? Let's pin that down. Where was the camera set up? The Exosol? That's pretty far away. You wouldn't be able to stop both at the same time. Oh, wait. I'm dumb. No! Oops. Okay. Okay. I, I, know, I know where it's supposed to be. Oh, well, it was nice meeting you. Have a good one. Okay, um, it was obviously set up on the stupid control panel. <laughs> the video camera must have been set up somewhere around here. To operate the press and the camera at the same time, it would have to be near the switch. Mm -hmm. That's why the video was taken from that unnatural angle. If they were recording it like normal, they would have used a better angle. And if it was recorded at such an odd angle, then that proves the trick was used. Camera angle, huh? Looks like your cosplayer experience is finally useful. Well, cosplay doesn't really come up all that much in class trials. There was a reason the camera was set up there. But also a reason for the hype. When the press was stopped, we couldn't really see who was inside it, correct? That was intentional. The body is mostly hidden by the press, making the swap easier. The camera must have been placed at such a high position so it would produce that angle. They used that tripod in the hangar to adjust the camera's height. Did they get that from the warehouse too? Jeez, that place is like a 4D pocket. It sure is. You don't get to make <clears throat> a reference. Then, that logic is correct, right? Kokichi used that video angle trick and switched the victim in the hydraulic press. In that case, Kaito is... Before he was crushed by the press, he was swapped with a different body! So Kaito's still alive! Well, wait just a minute. What? But I just summed it up so nicely! You- you did. Good job, Himiko. I'm proud of you. Himiko, the different body you mentioned, what are you talking about? The bodies from the other cases. Kichi's the mastermind, so he... Wait, the mastermind? Yeah, Kokichi isn't the mastermind, so... 
I don't think he'd be able to produce a body to switch out. What? Well, Monokuma, do the rules allow for a body to be reused? Very well. I'll answer that. You're giving in pretty easily. Well, it's crucial information to make the trial fair. This discussion is pointless if it's not clear what the culprit was allowed to do, right? <laughs> You're a convenient mastermind, but I guess that makes defeating you worth my time. Now then, regarding the reuse of a dead body. That is impossible! All the dead bodies have already been thrown away. Thrown away? The other bodies are... gone? Then who did Kaito switch places with? Kokichi and Kaito were the only ones in the hangar at that time. If they were the only ones present during the body swapping trick, then the real victim was... the two people who switched places in the hydraulic press. If it wasn't an old body, it could only be... What's wrong, Shuichi? Who did Kaido switch places with? Maki, I think I missed something very important here. Something important? If I have the timeline right, they were the only two people in the hangar at that time. Which means that something had to have been decided before. I have to pin that down. Can't let anything escape me this time. Wh what? That's an L over there, right? No, that's a T. Uh, V? Oh, okay. Um, is it victim again? Victim... Victim... switched places while the press and the camera were stopped. Then the person who turned the camera and the press back on was the original victim. To put it simply, both people operated the press and camera at different times. An impossible trick, unless the victim and culprit agreed to cooperate beforehand. Sounds bizarre, but perhaps that was the whole point. Commit a crime that was so confusing, even Monokuma would be tricked. Jeez, this culprit's a real jerk. 
So, have you realized who done it yet? The culprit of this case. If my detective work hasn't failed me, the culprit inside that eggs us all. It can only be him. again and crushed Kokichi must be Kaito. So, the person inside the Exosol isn't Kokichi. It has to be Kaito. What did you say? He got better as time went on pretending to be Kokichi. What? Huh? There's just no way that Kaito can still be alive. Because I'm the culprit. Wait, you? But didn't you say I saw it with my own eyes? What? Kokichi drank the antidote that he stole from Kaito. No doubt Kaito died. And he died because of my poison arrow. But you told us you didn't want to kill Kaito. Yes, I never wanted to. I wanted to believe that I didn't kill him. But the truth speaks differently. In the end, I was just running away from the facts. No, that's what you're doing right now, actually. Maki, are you trying to protect Kaito? If he's the culprit, you're trying to help him get away? There was only one antidote, so it's more likely he died from my poison arrow. This is the truth. It's not decided yet. I could have still killed him with the hydraulic press. Either way, those are the two options. Monokuma knows. Huh? Are those the only options? I guess that's how things turned out. No, that can't be. The person in that exosol is... It's not Kaito. I saw Kokichi drink the antidote. There's no mistake. Kaito is dead. I... killed Kaito. There's absolutely no doubt. That's the truth. Ah, I thought so. Maki is trying to protect Kaito. I understand how she feels, but if Kaito is the culprit, why did he agree to Kokichi's plan? I can't imagine that Kaito would do something so selfish. There must be a reason for it. I truly believe that. But I have to get to the bottom of this before I can uncover that truth. But Maki, you don't know for certain that Kokichi drank the antidote. You know, it was kind of weird because when I saw him do it, it looked like the cap was still on. I saw him drink it right in front of you, but you couldn't confirm he actually did it. So maybe there's another possibility. What 
are you talking about? Oh, armament. Impossible. That's impossible. There is no other possibility. I killed Kaito. Argument armament. I killed Kaito. You're the one who's wrong. He died from my poison arrow. There's no other possibility. What do you know? I killed Kaito. You're the one who's wrong. Doesn't matter what you say. I'm telling you, this is the truth. But you keep getting in the way. You're so goddamn annoying. It doesn't matter what you say. I'm telling you, this is the truth. But you keep getting in the way. You're so goddamn annoying. I was at the scene. So I know I'm not wrong. I'm sorry I kept quiet till now. I wanted to believe I didn't kill him. But I won't run away from the truth anymore. Because I know what I saw. I was at the scene. So I know I'm not wrong. I'm sorry I kept quiet till now. I wanted to believe I didn't kill him. But I won't run away from the truth anymore. Because I know what I saw. I was at the scene. So I know I'm not wrong. I'm sorry I kept quiet till now. I wanted to believe this is hard. Pretended to drink the antidote. Hot. <laughs> Kokichi just pretended to drink the antidote. He didn't actually drink it. He pretended to drink it. Drinking the antidote was part of his lie. Maki could only see so much through the window. She didn't confirm Kokichi drank it. I believe that Kokichi knew this and just pretended to drink the antidote. After Maki left, he gave the antidote to Kaito. There's a strong possibility that all of this was done to make Kaito cooperate. Make him cooperate? The swapping trick required the victim and culprit to work together. That's good time to check my voicemail. Was essential to Kokichi's plan. However, I don't think Kokichi would be able to sway Kaito easily. He needed leverage. He gave Kaito the antidote in exchange for his cooperation. In exchange for his own life, you mean? Someone called me and they know my name, but. I have no idea what they were saying. That's just Kaito's character. And Kokichi knew that. He swallowed his pride with the antidote and agreed to participate in Kokichi's plan. But didn't Kokichi make this plan? What good is it for him if he's dead? I imagine this was all part of Kokichi's plan to confuse us. You wouldn't think that someone would plan their own murder. He went so far as to give up his life, just to create this mystery? Only Kokichi could think of something so nefarious. Mm -hmm. Who else would agree to die, just to execute their plan? Hmm. Why would he go that far? I bet Kokichi was determined to beat me at my own game, no matter what! But too bad! Shuichi figured out the truth! Truth? Are you sure it's not delusion? Delusion? A delusion completely off the mark. 
to make you think that I die. But who cares what you guys think? This is between me and Monokuma. I don't give a crap if the extras in this game get it right or not. Extras? I'm fine with being an extra. <laughs> huh? Why? If we're just extras, then even if we get it wrong, we won't get killed. No, I still kill you all. Don't put Kokichi's words in my mouth. <laughs> but why? You are being so friendly with us. If Monokuma gets it right, then he takes everyone's life, yeah? But if Monokuma gets it wrong, then he'd have no right to take everyone's lives. If Monokuma doesn't know who the culprit is, then this killing game can't function anymore. Hmm. Can't function anymore. Kaito, I believe in you. If you're cooperating with this plan, you must have a reason. To determine that reason, I need to reveal the truth. I still think Kaito is the culprit. Thinking of it that way makes all the pieces fit. I will show you the truth. The truth you can't deny. Closing argument. Alright. So we have one electro bomb. After receiving the item from Himiko, the culprit. Who did Monkey hit with the Electro Hammer? Where did the culprit shoot Koukichi? What opened the shutter and got inside the hangar? Who was hit by the first arrow? Who was hit by the second? What did Koukichi take from the culprit? After Maki left, what weapon did Koukichi take out? Hit the Exosol, the only antidote, Trail of Blood. Who actually drank it? What evidence did the culprit leave in the bathroom? Why was Kokichi dragged along the ground? Who was put in the hydraulic press first? That'd be Kaito. Who was put in the hydraulic press last? What evidence did the culprit flush down the toilet? Assembled the crossbow. Oh, culprit in the press. Do this one. What evidence did the culprit leave in the bathroom? Hit by the second arrow. Culprit. Here we 
Here we go. Is the truth of the case. Let's go over the trick that Kokichi and the culprit created together. Last night, Kibo saw Himiko from the window of his lab. She was carrying a black case and heading to the Exocel hangar. When she reached the hangar, she handed the case to someone through the bathroom window. That someone is the culprit of this case. Locked in the bathroom, the culprit had asked Himiko to bring them a certain weapon. A disassembled crossbow from Maki's lab. The culprit was going to use the crossbow to challenge Kokichi to a fight. Some time passed, and Maki made her way to the hangar. She was going to the hangar to kill Kokichi and save the culprit trapped in the bathroom. However, the hangar had an electric barrier preventing her from entering. Fortunately for her, she had an electro hammer to get around the barrier, in a way. She used her electro hammer to disable an exosol and climbed inside. She knew exosols could bypass the barrier, so she got inside one. Around that time, the culprit and Kokichi began their confrontation. While Kokichi was checking up on them, the culprit ambushed him with a crossbow. But the culprit didn't intend to kill Kokichi. They just wanted to disable him. That's why the culprit aimed for Kokichi's right arm. If they really wanted to kill him, they would have shot him in his vitals. Like, between the eyes. Kokichi reeled from the arrow, and the culprit jumped on him immediately. He didn't want Kokichi to have the chance to summon an exosol with a remote. While they were fighting, something happened that caught them both off guard. The shutter of the hangar opened, and an exosol stepped inside. Kokichi was definitely not expecting an exosol to interrupt them. He pulled out his remote in an attempt to control the exosol. But Maki leaped out of the cockpit and shot Kokichi with her crossbow. The arrow hit Kokichi right in the back, and it was no normal arrow. The tip was covered in a lethal poison from my lab called Strike 9 Poison. The poison kills slowly. It seems as if Maki wanted Kokichi to confess before he died. But even with poison in his veins, Kokichi continued to spin his lies. When she had had enough, Maki tried to finish him off with another poisoned arrow. But this time, Maki was the one caught by surprise. To keep Maki from becoming the Blacken, the culprit used their body to shield Kokichi. The culprit's left arm was struck by a poison arrow. Maki remembered that there was an antidote in my lap, and immediately ran off to get it. The Strike 9 poison slowly circulated through their systems, and would soon kill them both. But in that desperate situation, Kokichi thought up a clever lie. He incorporated this unforeseen event into his plan to help him win the killing game. Or should I say... Help him defeat Monokuma. That was Kokichi's true objective. It's why he claimed to be the mastermind. Thinking fast, Kokichi closed the shutter so that Maki could not re-enter the hangar. 
Thus, Kokichi's final lie was set into motion. When Maki returned with the antidote, she couldn't get back inside the hangar. So she went around to the hangar bathroom and passed the antidote through the window. But after the culprit was given the antidote, Kokichi immediately snatched it. Kokichi drank down all of the antidote while the culprit and Maki watched in horror. Maki must have been panicking, thinking the only antidote was now gone. She believed that the culprit was going to die from her own poisoned arrow. But it was all another one of Kokichi's lies. He had only pretended to drink the antidote. Okay, which one's the final lie, Shuichi? Come on. Maki tried desperately to break into the hangar, even slashing the control panel. But she couldn't get the shutter to open again. Defeated, she had no choice but to leave. After Maki had left, Kokichi took out another weapon. An electrobomb, capable of disabling communication devices for hours. Kokichi's plan was to use an electrobomb to knock out Monokuma's surveillance cameras. That was why he commissioned Mew to make the bombs in the first place. After detonating an electrobomb, Kokichi coerced the culprit into drinking the antidote. In exchange for the antidote, Kokichi asked the culprit to cooperate with his plan. Kokichi needed to work with the culprit to execute his final lie. Under normal circumstances, the culprit would never have agreed to such a plan. But because the culprit owed him for saving their life, they agreed to Kokichi's request. And to prevent Maki from being the blackened. Ah, request is a generous term. It was more like blackmail. In any case, the two were now working together as accomplices in an insane plan. There was a lot to prepare and not a lot of time. They had to work fast. If Kokichi died from the Strike 9 poison, the whole plan would be ruined. After fabricating the scene in the bathroom, the culprit dragged Kokichi to the hydraulic press. This is how the swipe pattern bloodstain from the bathroom to the press was created. Kokichi, with the support of the culprit, stood in front of the press's control panel. The two of them were finally ready to execute the insane lie. While Kokichi was setting up the video camera near the hydraulic press's control panel, The culprit laid face up inside the press, draping their coat over their shoulders. Then, Kokichi activated the press and the camera's record button at the same time. The hydraulic press came down slowly, all caught on tape for us to see. Normally, the safety function would have triggered but the electrobomb had disabled it. The press got lower and lower, and just as the culprit disappeared from view, Kokichi pressed the force stop button and the camera's pause button simultaneously. The two then switched places and also switched roles. culprit and the victim the would-be victim became our culprit and started up the press and camera Kokichi had saved the culprit's life because his trick required their cooperation he 
wanted to win the killing game, even if it meant dying himself. And so, Kokichi was crushed by the press, and the whole thing was caught on video. The culprit's left sleeve was dangling from the press, making us think he was the victim. Now alone, the culprit collected the video camera. and tore the hydraulic press's power cord so that it could never be raised again. This would make it impossible for us to determine the identity of the crushed body. After all, if we saw Kokichi's there pants, that'd be weird. The victim was killed in this way. It obfuscated the cause of death, making the case that much more difficult to solve. This obfuscated. Was Kokichi's plan to create a murder not even Monokuma <coughs> could figure out. With the press disabled, the culprit returned to the bathroom to flush Kokichi's clothes. Finally, they climbed inside of an exosaw to hide and waited with bated breath. And here they are now in this trial, pretending to be Kokichi. Kokichi. They Monokuma in order to defeat the true mastermind. And that's it. That's Kokichi's unidentified culprit trick. Man, this one was crazy. The culprit is in that exosol. It's you, isn't it? Kaito Momota, the ultimate astronaut. I'm right, aren't I? That's you in there, isn't it, Kaito? Really? Is it really, Kaito? I must reluctantly agree with Shuichi's deduction. Man, Shuichi sure loves his crazy deductions. Huh? You're still not going to admit it? Admit it, but it's wrong. But logically speaking, his deduction tracks. If it's really Kaito in there, he would have admitted it by now. Is Yuichi's reasoning wrong somehow? No, my detective work was flawless, and it's the truth. I'm sure that Kaito is inside that exosol. So why is Kaito still fighting me? Is this about Monokuma, or is there another aspect to this? You claim everything is set, and that's it. You don't have any evidence, do you? You all think the body was switched when the hydraulic press stopped for a minute. But that's just speculation in the end. No evidence to back it up. So, if we reverse our reverse way of thinking, then it's likely I didn't do anything, right? It's totally possible that the body switching never happened and Kaito is dead. Not just possible, it's the actual truth. Well, it's true. There's no proof that the bodies were switched. No. We should trust Shuichi's deduction. I'm sure everything will be okay. This emotion I've learned, I believe you call it faith. That's what I feel right now. That's right. We have to believe in Shuichi. Well, I don't care either way. But if you guys get it wrong, you'll have to deal with Monokuma. What will the results of this voting time be? If Monokuma makes a mistake, he won't be able to execute anyone, right? Then it will be my victory. And that will ruin the entire killing game. Ruin. I see, so that's your objective. You mean to ruin the killing game itself. That's why Kaito's been so stubborn all this time. But what exactly does he mean by ruin? 
Monokuma can do whatever he wants to the rules. How do you ruin something like that? What would be the point? short of your expectations, but I'm pretty sure I won't make any mistakes. Cause I got the ultimate detective's airtight logic on my side. Now I know the whole truth and why. I believe in my own logic and I believe in Kaito. From this point on, it's not about logic, it's about how far I'm willing to go. I believe in you, Kaito, not as a detective, but as Saihara Shuichi. Can I save during this? If I can, that'd make me feel kind of dumb. I can. I, s I suddenly feel pretty dumb. But we're gonna keep going. Huh? Why? Why am I in the middle of a non-stop debate? All right, let's pin this down. Who is inside that exosol? Hmm? Kaito, right? That's what you said, isn't it? Okiji's the one who died, and the culprit is Kaito standing right there. Isn't that correct? <laughs> of course not! I would never die! I trust Shuichi! Kaito's trying to ruin the game, that's why he's hiding the truth. I don't know exactly why, but he's putting his life out on the line for it. So to put my faith in him, this is the only way. Everything that we've determined up to now, what if I turned it all on its head? Yes, I need to lie. Survival video. Yeah, no, that makes sense. Uh, the one who died. And the culprit is Kaito standing right there. Isn't that correct? <laughs> of course not. Ah. What? What do you mean, why? Why did you say Kokichi? The one in the Exosol is... I'm so sorry, everyone. I've deceived you all. God, you're a terrible liar, Shuji. Huh? The truth is, after we found the crushed body, I... saw Kokichi. You saw Kokichi? Yes. Threatened me, told me that if I didn't do what he said, he'd kill us all. He wanted me to lie about what I saw, so that the trial would be more interesting. But I can't do it anymore. I can't keep lying like this. I have to tell the truth. Kokiji isn't dead. He's alive. But is Kokiji really alive? Obviously not, because we're we just lied. But what will be the outcome of this class trial. We'll just have to find out next time on what is probably going to be the finale of Let's Play Danganronpa V3 Killing Harmony. Until then, don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you're watching this on YouTube. And if you do subscribe, don't forget to leave a... Ring the little bell for notifications on all my uploads. Um, if you want to follow my... Streaming stuff. Don't forget to follow me on Twitch and Twitter where announcements and such will be made. Until then, later guys.